The Chamber of Petroleum Consumers, COPEC, has re echoed its call for government to resource the Tema oil refinery to enable it to process some of the country's crude to cushion it against oil prices spikes. Executive Secretary of COPEC, Duncan Amar, was reacting to the escalating oil prices following the US Iran conflict. Oil prices rose by some 4% to sell at $68.89 per barrel after Iran fired missiles at targets in Iraq in retaliation to the U.S. killing of an Iranian top military officer on Friday. Crude prices rallied on Tuesday morning to $68.50 per barrel from the spike of $70.24 on Friday. Higher prices could be sustained should the conflict between the U.S. and Iran escalate. Executive Secretary of COPEC, Duncan Amwa, observed efficient operations by Boston Tor is key to price stabilization at the local pumps. It is necessary government finds money for BOST to save fuel at this point, so that at least two, three months of strategic fuel can be held in this country for us. Whether there's escalation or de-escalation, there will be some stability or fuel security for Ghanaians. Whatever capacity uh, building or restructuring has to be done in our oil refinery should be done. So that whatever oil we are producing locally, if we are getting a certain minimum percentage to them to refine, that would ensure there's always some fuel available to us locally that is not international market price dependent. U.S. oil producers are taking advantage of the crude price rally following the killing of a top Iranian general to lock in prices for more of their 2020 and 2021 output. Duncan Amwa advised the government to also hedge its purchases. Government should also ensure at this point, if it can, uh, explore every opportunity with hedging. So that you do not wake up the next morning and there's a, an escalation in, in, in the tensions in the Gulf and so prices have gone to 100. Ghanaians may not be able to afford that immediately. So whatever hedging arrangements we can go into at this point, let's explore that with the international oil companies. I'm sure one, two, three of them may give us some favorable terms of hedging at this point before things get from bad to worse. Crude price topped $70 per barrel in London on Friday for the first time since September.